he shouldn't be taking anything away from a student. Um, you don't know if that's the only item she has to eat. My son was one of the children on the field trip, and um, his chips were taken and thrown away. It's a topic that's become quite a talker this week. The principal of Cook Elementary School in Detroit accused of taking away so-called unhealthy snacks from students. In some cases, the parents say that the principal will even eat the junk food right in front of the kids, mocking them in the process. The parents we talked to say that the policy is flat out wrong. But you focusing on chips, but at the end, on every Friday or every other Friday, you're doing nacho sales, you're doing Cheetos, you're selling those, you're selling juice. So what's the difference? I'm their parent. So therefore, I can pack what I want to pack. My son had a sandwich, he had chips, he had a banana, and he had three cookies. What was wrong with that? Why take that? Our Detroit Public Schools had this to say in response to our story. Quote, Cook Elementary has a rule prohibiting junk food from entering the building. Families were made aware of this rule at the beginning of the school year and informed that any listed foods brought into the building would be confiscated. End of quote. Welcome back to Letter Rip. With us now is a teacher who says that junk food is bad not only for the kids' bodies, but bad for their brains as well. Derek Rashuni is with the Warren Consolidated School District, and he's a teacher in middle school. But Linda Lugerai thinks teachers and administrators have gone too far. She's a devoted mother who believes that parents have the right to decide what kind of food their kids eat, not the schools. But maybe there's a happy medium. Randy Specker, the superintendent for Madison Public Schools, is here to talk about his school's guidelines and their approach. And of course, you all know Charlie, so let's get started. Well, direct, you're in middle school right now. You say that there are some foods that actually cause problems in the classroom? Uh, if I have a student walking in in the morning with the Snickers in his hand and a Mountain Dew, I can probably tell you it's not going to be the greatest of mornings. So um, in, in order for me to get the best out of that student, I need to make sure they're not on a sugar high or at the end of the day crashing from a sugar low. So, 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 so what happens when a kid comes in and he, he takes a swig of this Mountain Dew and a bite of the Snickers bar? Well, if he doesn't have one for me, I, my job is to educate, of course. So I'm, it's a judgment. I'm not going to take the snack that's in his hand. But as a teacher, to educate is beyond math, science, reading, educate healthy living and tell him alternatives of other snacks that he can bring to the classroom and go from there. And if I have an alternative to swap them, we can go try that route. But Linda, you know this firsthand because of what you went through with your daughter. I saw my daughter uh, first day of school with four mini Oreo cookies. She was told to put it away because it was not a healthy choice, yet she sat there and watched the other students eating their snacks, which was uh, Ritz Bits, Cheez-Its, and whatever else they had. There was no swapping or enjoy it this time, make sure bring, you bring something else. It was just put it away. Now, what did you have to do, though, to change that? I mean, I'm, I'm sure that- I haven't the, changed it. You, you, it's no. still in place. It's, I haven't changed it. I haven't done anything. I send whatever I want. But the school policy is still the same. You know, I don't know if it's a policy. They sent, you know, they said, they did say that, we, you know, we sent a letter the first day of school, second day, you know, the things that we would like for the kids to bring to school as a healthy choice. Uh, we looked through it, but it didn't say you can't have Oreos or you can't have chips. All they asked is that, you know, maybe bring some fruit, uh, bring some cheese sticks. But there was nothing that said exclude these items. This is what my child wanted. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, I, there wasn't anything, I don't, I don't consider it to be something bad. You know, you look at their lunch menu and their snack, there, there isn't well, much of a difference. In fact, we have a menu from a local oh. school district and, and this is an actual menu that includes some amazing items. Mini corn dogs, pretzel bites and cheese. Bosco sticks, I'm not even sure what, what that is, is. What is it? What is that? And tater tots. Now, some parents are asking, what's so nutritious about these food items? And Randy Smick, uh, you brought some uh, snacks for us, I well, see I've there. got some snacks, and Charlie, Charlie, <laughs> Charlie's <laughs> hungry, so we can, so we can get some of this here? stuff out here. Okay, oh, all right. Oh, well, right. Baked food, yeah. Dips, oh, man, my favorite, Cheetos. Okay. But now, is this allowed? It, 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 well, it, it, here's, here's, here's the deal. There's, there's, a, there's a big gray area when it comes to um, the nutritional guidelines because schools are governed by the USDA with our uh, National School Lunch Program, Breakfast, Lunch, and Dinner, all the different uh, programs that schools bring in. So, so these snacks actually are okay, even Cheetos, because there's whole wheat in, in the Cheeto puffs and, and things like that. So as we are having to, to, to follow these guidelines, and again, there's a big gray area, but we certainly are asking parents 
to that's not necessarily follow those guidelines that we have to by law. Mm -hmm. We're asking parents to join us when it comes to providing healthy nutritional snacks for our students. We want this, we want this to be a partnership. But now, did you take the snacks away if mom provides four Oreo cookies for her child? Do you take them away? So that's not gonna happen in our district. And, and, and there's not, again, there's a big gray area. So schools are gonna administrate, administrate this in, in different ways. What we wanna do, I think, is, is, is most school administrators and, and school systems and our food service departments provide healthy op opportunities. We have a captive audience with our kids, but they live in a free market world. So they're emotionally thinking about what McDonald's gives them, what Burger King gives them, what Taco Bell gives them. We don't get to have that, that opportunity. McDonald's can put up that a Big Mac has 750 calories in it, but they can still sell it. We don't have the ability to compete mm -hmm. against a Big Mac. We have these guidelines. We do the best we can. We want parents to come but on But Randy, you also said that it's different for every school district. And Charlie, that makes it difficult for parents, too. If they don't like the rules, then can they sue to change them? Well, no, they can't sue. But I can't imagine a kid's going to be kicked out because they, they bring some chips to school. I mean, I think it's a little bit, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's what's reasonable. And I think the, the problem is when a kid brings some Oreo cookies to school, the teacher says, put them away. That kid is now being ostracized to some extent. And I think that does more damage to the kid than the, than the couple of Oreo cookies. I mean, I think we have to have a, a strike a balance here. Yeah, I don't want to see kids get fat, and kids probably shouldn't eat any of this stuff, really. But anything in moderation is probably okay. Look, I grew up eating cookies, cakes, all kinds of sweets, and I'm okay. Just ask me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, maybe I'm wrong, That's but I, you I don't see the great harm in having a snack as long as it's not dinner. But you also grew up in a time where you're eating those snacks, and I, I'm sure at the same time, after eating those snacks, you're outside playing all day and doing something but recreational. The kids today are eating these snacks throughout the whole day, going home, sitting in front of a computer, playing the Xbox, online, doing But let me take care of what is. my kids do at home. Exactly, but my job also is to, edu to educate. And, and you've done that. Exactly. You've done your education part. But how let them have their snack, how and then you an let them go outside. How effective as an educator, am I in the classroom, if I had a student in there, eating a Snickers, bouncing off the walls, how fair is that to the other kids? But who's to say that when my child comes home that I'm not going to give him that, that Snickers? Well, he's yours when he comes home, but, but when he's in my classroom and But now my, school, my daughter really doesn't even like to take snacks to school for exactly what Charlie said, because she, you know, she really honestly does not take them. I'll ask her, do you want this, this, or that? And she, she says, no, I'm not hungry. I know she is. Because when she comes home at 3.45 in the afternoon, she's starving, she says. But I know she doesn't want, because I mentioned, you know, fruits. She doesn't want or, uh, brown apples. She doesn't like carrots. She doesn't want to take a banana. I don't either. There's certain <laughs> things that she doesn't want to take. I'd rather have the cheese balls. Her, <laughs> well, exactly. But she doesn't want to have to deal with the teacher because, you know, they, you know she likes her teacher. Mm -hmm. Her teacher likes her. And she doesn't want to uh, upset her. So she'll just say, no, I don't want a snack. And so the solution, Randy, is? Well, we've become, we've, schools have become full service organizations. So we don't just educate kids in math mm -hmm. and science and reading. We're educating kids in health and wellness. And part of that is educating families as well. We want everyone to be, let's be partners mm -hmm. in this. There's no reason why we can't be partners when it comes to something as simple as a snack. Education regarding nutrition, but not punishment because you that's like cookies and cake. Of course not, that's just the bottom line. That's all right. right. Panel, we thank you for your insights and your comments. Still to come, Charlie takes the show on the road.